Hey guys, Mike Crossfield here. Today in my hands, Titleist 917D3 driver. Uh, Surefit CG is what's new in this one, as well as a few other things. Interesting club, lots of interesting things actually. I'm gonna enjoy this one. Um, it's quite in depth though. Let's show you what the Titleist D3 917 could do for your game. Let's get stuck in. Right, Titleist 917D3. I have tried these clubs in Switzerland on a real course as well, which was interesting with GC2. Um, and we got some real ball data coming at you today, captured in the UK. So what are we getting? We're getting a 440 head shape. The D3 is the smaller, there's a D2 and a D3. It's the smaller of the two. We're getting active recoil channel on the bottom 2.0. So it's the channel that we saw on the other one, but it's an improvement. They're changing some of the thickness, I think, in different places to try and keep ball speeds and the way it flexes more consistent in different strike points. Radial speed face, so the thickness of the face is controlled to try and deliver again the ball speed across that face as much as possible. So they're playing with face design and they're using the active recoil channel 2.0 to try and keep your ball speeds fast across that face. Then we get adjustability. So we get short fit tour hosel, which we've had from the start, innovation. You know, they can hold their hands up and be proud. They are the first ones that I know really to do that. Loft and lie independent of each other, which is still, why change something that just works? So that's still there. And now we're getting short fit CG. So it's this weight port, it's a tube where you can unscrew weights, Comes there is a pack of weights which is sold separately. Um, you get a neutral weight where the weight's in the middle. You can get a draw biased weight where you put it extra weight more in the heel. And you also get a fade biased weight you can or buy or get fit for which you put in the toe. Now if you look at the toe position, because this CG, uh, sure fit CG is at 30 degrees, if you put the heavier weight in the toe, the fade bias, it moves the centre of gravity towards the front, maybe reducing spin a bit more. And if you have the heavier weight, so the draw bias in the heel here, moves the CG um, back on the club, a little bit more towards the heel. Um, and what that's gonna do is maybe increase speed a little bit, uh, increase spin that fraction more. If you think about people who tend to want to draw the ball a bit more, they might be looking for different spins than someone who wants to fade the ball a little bit more. So you've got real um, fast faces of what they're saying. You've got that adjustability in there as well. You also get sound. They're saying they've changed the acoustics of this club to make it sound a little bit better from tour feedback, which we're actually, let's have a hit with uh, that, see how, if I can hear any distance um, or difference. And you've also got the trajectory control with this club as well. Um, obviously with Surefit Hosel and the Surefit CG. Down by the board, it's a lovely little pair, round shaped design, a greyish top. Cool, that sounds louder than I was expecting. Interesting with the sound on that one. Let's give it another hit. Now, I did some tests with some of the different weights, which we'll show you in a second. Um, I started with the neutral, I have to remind me, I think it was a 12 gram weight. I've got the pack here. Yeah, I started with a 12 gram neutral. I'm not gonna get involved with the fade and draw so much, but I will do tests uh, on other videos with that push the weights to their limits. Goes up to 16 but also comes down to an eight as well. So I did the 12 and then I went to an eight and we'll show you what happened. So in effect, you're able to change the swing weight of this club uh, really, really easily. So not only am I dialing in lofts, lies, CG placement, center of gravity places, so sweet spot place, effective sweet spot will be moved as well as you move the weights around. Um, you're also changing the swing weight, which is quite unique really. Let's give this another hit. Looks gorgeous down by the ball. Sits very um, nice and neutral. Yes, interesting sound. It's definitely louder than I was expecting. I don't mind that. Um, I'm just used to Titleist making kind of more of a, a muted sound a little bit more. Let's give it one more hit. Definitely look good looking ball flight. I'm interested to show you the numbers on this with the adjustability. The adjustability on this club is absolutely exciting me. It's very clever in what it's doing, giving a fitter just a few more tools to make sure they get the most out of their clubs, to get the most out of you guys and girls, really. That's a lovely ball flight. I mean, I could game that all day long. What's interesting with the D3 as well this year, being 440 head shape, it doesn't look that small. It doesn't look like a smaller head, and I don't know if that's the colour doing that or the shape. It looks like a decent sized head down there. 
Active Recall Channel 2.0, fine. Um, I'm not particularly going to feel much difference, I don't think, over last year's, but I'm sure their data backs that up. Surefit CG is clever and exciting and quite new. Clever, tightly star clever like that. Um, sound, different. Not sure if I love it more or hate it more than the other one, but they're saying tall guys prefer it more, which is always a good uh, selling point. And tuning in trajectory with this club, well, I think you're going to struggle to find anything that tunes in quite like this one. Let's show you the numbers. So numbers time. Uh, 917D3, I was hitting it 249, spinning at 27. That's with the 12 gram weight. Is it 12 gram? I think it is. I'm going to have to look again. The fitters are going to have to be very well trained with this set of gloves, but I mean, tightless fitters always are. Yeah, it was the 12 gram, okay, which is pretty much the standard one, if you like. Um, topping out at 37 uh, yards high, so it's going a little high, spinning at 27, a fraction high, and only going 255 top. So I thought I would expect this club to do a little bit more. So I put the 8 gram weight in. I would always go more to the lighter side. I like the feel of a lighter club. I'm not particularly strong, so it feels like I can swing it faster. I feel like as I fatigue for a round, I would keep my swing speeds more consistent as well. Goes up to 259, topping out at 265. So it goes right into where I'd want that driver to be. Uh, peaking height at 34, so better peak height. Spinning now down at 21, which is really interesting as well. So as I put a lighter weight if you think about it, I've got, the club's got a 14 gram weight at the back, if you like. I swap that out for, sorry, a 12. I swap that out for an eight. In effect, that center of gravity must be moving slightly further forward, which is moving that spin lower for me. Um, Cause I'm taking less weight out the back of the club uh, and it's gotta be going forwards. It's being lost out of the whole head, but it's certainly not as far back anymore. Um, so when I put the eight gram weight in, I've gone up to the numbers that I would want a game all day and I was getting the kind of desired shots. Amazing levels of fit from Titleist this year. I think they've, that's just amazing. In a market, in a place where creating anything new is just so hard because the competition from the main manufacturers is just so competitive with other manufacturers releasing drivers left, right and centre. Titleist staying to their normal 18 months to a year. Um, product launch, which you've got to take your hat off to really, to be honest. Not rushing things out, just getting it right. D3, loving that. Love the weight pack. Love the, what the power that's going to give to a fitter to help you get more out of your game. Post comments down below. Obviously, it's a very recognized brand on tour. Are you going to try it? Are you interested in the swing weight, getting it heavier and lighter? Obviously, drivers, you could do that as well. This wasn't as easy maybe for a fitter, certainly a fitter at your average golf club, to just unscrew a weight out the back and change that swing weight, which for me has made all those difference to those numbers. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope, all the normal social places. Also, come and visit my new website, markcrossfieldgolf.com. See you over there.